Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are, whenever you're watching this, this is Floating in Dreams. Today we are going to be ranking my top 10 favorite blushes. Welcome to everybody watching today's video, thank you so very much for being here. Today we are going to be ranking my top 10 blushes, and to be fair, in this ranking today, we're going to be splitting the top 10 into 5 favorite drugstore blushes, and 5 favorite high-end blushes, and they're all going to be competing against each other. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Maika, I live in the Netherlands, I love coming on here to chat about eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice reviews, and getting the use out of my makeup. And because I have fair skin with a cool to neutral undertone, I like coming on here to also review products from my snow angel-like pr uh, perspective. So if you'd like to join my little snow angel club on here, then definitely consider subscribing. Yes, today we are going to be ranking my top 10 favorite blushes. And these are more so like top 10 favorite blush formulas. And then I've also selected my favorite shades from each of those formulas. Got five high end here, five drugstore, but we're going to mix it all up so that we truly get to the very, very favorite ones. And I have one honorable mention and I'll be showing you swatches and all that as we're going along. So let me start with the honorable mention first. And the honorable mention I have for you is the blush I've hit pan on, but it's been discontinued, so you can no longer buy this. But I just want, you know, it's still a favorite. Like if I had pan on a cheek product, you know it's a favorite. And it's Benefit's Coralista. Um, Benefit has redone their entire blush line, so I'm sure you can no longer buy it. However, in the new range, there seems to be a shade that is similar to this. So Benefit's Coralista is the only blush I've ever hit pan on, which is why it gets a mention here. Every year that pan just grows. I love going back to this every single summer. It's a very sort of soft, peachy kind of shade. But as you will see, as we're talking about this, there is another blush in today's roundup that I have ranked and that is very affordable and that is very similar to Coralista. So it also sort of made me realize why I like that other blush so much when I swatch these all side by side. So yeah, Coralista is my honorable mention. It's not part of the ranking, but that's what we're getting to right now. In the number 10 spot, I wanted to chat about a brand that nobody else talks about. What am I talking about? H&M Beauty. H&M has some wonderful makeup products, but the standout product for me from the line are their blushes. I've only kept one shade around because I felt a lot of the other shades I bought from them either weren't perfect for me or they were very similar to other things I already had. But the more unique shade is one that has been discontinued, sadly. This is Tawny Peach. And this is the blush that really got me into like neutral blushes. When I bought this, I was like, okay, great. It's got the hexagon shape packaging. It looks a lot more luxurious than it actually is. And if you buy it now, it does also come with a mirror. So that's great. But I love this formula. And I put this in my favorite, full face of favorite drugstore makeup for a reason, because I love this formula to pieces. If you were to ask me for a good blush from the drugstore, this would definitely be there. But I have some options here today that are either in shades that I find more wearable or that are even more affordable than this is. Um, and that's why they get to rank a little bit higher. Number nine on the list is the MAC Glow Play Blush in Heat Index. So this shade in particular, this is the first one I bought. It's a very vibrant, corally pink kind of shade. And I found out through this blush that if I go for like a creamy blush, I'm only listing powder blushes today for a reason, because I want to do a separate like cream and liquid blush video if I get the chance to, because I'm currently trying out a couple of new things, so I didn't want it to be, like I wanted it to be fair. I'm really focused on things I've already used. But yeah, the Glow Play blush from MAC made me realize not only that I like cream blush if it's more vibrant, it also made me realize that I don't hate MAC blush. I haven't liked MAC blush all that much, I actually ended up decluttering all of them and everybody's like raving about it. I think it was a shade called Warm Soul, one of their mineralized blushes. Melba was a hype for a while. It wasn't until I tried these and also their extra dimension blushes. Those I love. And I was like, oh, if we can do blush like this. And this heat index shade is um, like 
a good one, but also the formula of this is quite unusual. It is that sort of putty kind of, um, let's call it ColourPop Super Shock, but then easier to use kind of formula. Um, this you can actually use with your fingers quite easily. It's like this putty kind of thing that you can press down. I just like going in with my finger, spread it around and then dot it on. Like I would use a cream, but it sets down like a powder and it stays put like a primer, uh, like a powder. So if you're someone who struggles with powder blushes staying on your cheeks, or if you struggle with cream uh, blushes staying on your cheeks, then definitely consider looking into these Glow Play blushes because I feel they are like the best of both worlds. There it is, really stunning hybrid product. And that's why I had to go into this ranking as a top 10 favorite blush formula. Number eight, and the only reason why I'm ranking this not any higher isn't because I don't love this, but because they can be a little bit hard to buy. And I don't love the packaging. But I'm not talking about Melt Cosmetics Digital Dust Blush, and this is in the shade Raw Honey. I like this so much that I bought another shade of this. The shade Buzzkill is now also in my collection, and that's a peachy shade, which is actually even better for my fair skin. This is a little bit dark, but because it has so much glow and shine, I love a glowy blush. This I love. Like for some people, if you have a very deep skin tone, you could definitely make this work as a highlighter on you. Like you don't have to like use it as a blush if you don't want to. This is a stunning like gel to powder kind of formula. Very pretty. I just don't like this brown compact. And Melt can be expensive and difficult to buy. These were out of stock on Beauty Bay for the longest time. So I ended up ordering this in from the Melt Cosmetics website, but they're based in the US, so I had to pay for customs and shipping, and it was a whole thing. And then, you know, with how expensive these are, it just adds to the, co uh, to the cost. But yeah, it is a lovely formula, and I do love it. But if you want something that's a little bit more affordable and you still want this gel-like, like gel to powder, baked gelée kind of formula, Nabla. Their skin glazing powders are lovely. The line doesn't really come with dedicated blushes. It's just like skin glazing. Mm. Um, so there's highlighters in the line. There are bronzers in the line. So you just have to look at the shade. I have a shade for each of those things. So I have a bronzer shade. I have a highlighter shade. And I bought Lola to be my blush shade. And this is like a red, watermelon pinkish red, like grapefruit kind of red kind of vibe. It's a very pretty blush shade for the summertime, but in the wintertime, something like this can make you look like you're just fresh in from the cold. I really love that kind of look, and this formula is absolutely stunning. Great, also very glowy, a little less glowy than the Melt. Like, the Melt is like borderline highlighter, but this is so, so stunning, and I love the way this looks on the cheeks. It is absolutely gorgeous, and these powders from Nabla, I know they were released like what two or three years ago so they don't get a lot of hype anymore but i feel we need to talk about it more because i love this formula number six is going to be an affordable option the catrice cheek lover oil infused blush now this blush is here so i can talk about catrice blush <laughs> because i have tried many catrice blushes and i love them this is just the most recent one that i've tried I'm going to be putting it in a Shop My Stash very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, I may have selected it for my Shop My Stash. So we'll be writing a dedicated review to this very soon as well. I love Catrice for blushes. Like their standard shades are great, but their multicolor glowing blush boxes are really good. The shade Warm, Warm Pink or Warm Soul from that line is a dupe for the bronzer from Bare Minerals in the shade Kiss of Pink. So Catrice does really good, really affordable blushes, but my new favorite formula, and the only reason why I'm showing you this one today is because it's new to me. It's that NARS Orgasm kind of peachy coral kind of shade, but where NARS Orgasm was always a bit too warm for me. I'm not sure if the light hits, like picks up on it, but it has quite a cool undertone. It's more like pinky coral, rather than orangey coral. And that's why I feel this works even better on me than Nars' Orgasm. 
We're getting into the top five, and in the top five are mainly more affordable options, save for two, and this guy from Hourglass, the Ambient Lighting Blushes. I have a couple of these, I have Mood Exposure, I have Incandescent Electra, but the more unique shade I have is Diffused Heat. This I love every summer. This is more of an orangey red, rather than a Nabla being a bit more pinky. Um, so this is perfect for a warm toned red, but you want it to be a little bit more subtle. This has a very pretty soft, natural, glowy, glowy look to it. I love these hourglass blushes. I go back to them all the time. I'm putting them in Shop My Stashes regularly. And if I'm not sure if there are still any shades in the line that I feel I need to add to my collection. Not necessarily, but this is definitely a brand I'm always like looking at like for if I'm looking to buy a new blush. But I have enough blush, so I really don't need it. Number four then, Kiko. Kiko does amazing blushes, but they're shade fusion blushes. Now the shade I have you can no longer get. However, the shade that they, uh, they now do, there is something that's very similar to this. This is 05 Marsala, and it's one of my favorite mauve tone blushes. This is one of my favorite neutral blushes. It used to have a embossing of the Kiko logo in the middle. I've worn that down completely and it's very, very pretty. And these shade fusion blushes were really cool because you got three shades that you can mix. Um, but yeah, they now do a shade that if you mix all of these together, that's the shade you would get in one of their singles as well. The packaging is still the same. I love the shade, like the fusion line from Kiko. I love the powder, I love the bronzer, I love the highlighter, and I love the blush. Now remember that I said that there was going to be a dupe for Benefits Coralista in here? Sadly, it was limited edition, but my number three on this list isn't just for this particular blush shade. It's again, more so for the brand. And I think if there is a brand that is very affordable, that has great blush, Essence. This is the Dumbo uh, Maxi Blush Highlighter from their Disney Classics Limited Edition that came out this spring over here. I tried this and it was such a pretty peachy sort of vibe on my cheeks. I love the way this looked. And then I swatched it for this video for my B-roll and it looked just like Coralista. So you'll see that in the close-ups for sure when I have all the blushes swatched on my arm you will be able to see that this is very close to what Coralista does for me. This is probably why I love it so much. So even though Coralista has been discontinued, this is definitely going to stay around in my collection because I have a dupe and it, it was like, what, four euros, maybe less. And the blush from Essence and also their matte touch blushes that they used to do, like Essence has had such a great consistent blush formula over time. I can't rave about them enough. A more recent discovery is my number two spot, and that's the Etude House Lovely Cookie Blusher. This is in the shade Ginger Honey Cookie, but I like this shade so much when I got it that I bought another one. So I also have, uh, what was it called? Lavender Lemon Macaron, I think it was called. It's like a, in between a lavender and a pink. It's a very pretty shade, but this was really where it's at for me. And you know, it comes with a little puff and then the packaging does feel sh cheap, I have to say. You can buy this blush from Etude, uh, from Yes Style, um, and it's like drugstore price point, this one. It has the smoothest, creamiest, like, formula I've ever tried in a blush, which is why I got another one of this, because it's... In terms of affordable blushes, nothing can top this. Nothing can top this. And that's why I put it in the number two spot because I feel there's only one other blush formula that I like even more. And that is Pat McGrath's Divine Rose Divine Blush. This I bought last year and like the packaging is super bougie, but this shade and this formula and the way it works on the cheeks and everything. I do have to say though, that I feel that the Etude House one and this one, very similar very, very similar. <laughs> I find them very similar in terms of what this gives. I just feel that this shade on me is a little bit prettier and also like pigmentation wise, this has a little bit more to offer. This picks up beautifully with a brush. It's very easy, very foolproof. You can like just, mm, it's such a, such a great blush shade. 
and I love all of these to pieces, but if I really have to like tell you what my top number one blush is, it would be this. I only have one shade because it's it's expensive. But yeah, I have my perfect mauve tone blush, and since I wear mauve tone blush more than anything else, this is like, I'm good with the one. I'm good with the one. I don't need the rest of the range for sure. There you have it, that is my top 10 blushes ranked. I hope this was useful for you, that you got something out of it. Thank you so very much for being here. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make several videos a week, so thank you so very much for joining me today, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.